Greetings, welcome back to Sinking City and let's go here, hopefully find Squint and let me see, okay I just have to turn around and go straight the boat okay Wait, 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 is that? No, 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 okay, it's the other ship. There's another one of those that I need to find. Whoa, luckily it is not. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. You've got it, don't worry. Oh, yeah, no. No, 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 don't change the directions even though you really... Watch out! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I see two houses we could visit. I... Ah! I really am holding the analog straight. That's perfect. Really. Okay. And there's another telephone. Whoa. <sighs> that scared me. Oh. I don't appreciate it. Oh my god. Okay, what am I looking for? A casebook? Yeah. Open. Mass. Mass. West of the intersection. So. Somewhere there. We have to go, I guess. Okay, so let's take to that road. Maybe we'll find something. Station. Okay, I heard it was his head, but it was just his backpack. Nothing to worry about. I'm still a little jumpy. Do we see something? Nope. No station. Anyone home? Tends to be usually those locations tend to be close to the um, station. Oh, uh, station. Phone uh, booth. Once again, Northern Salvation Harbor. West of the intersection of Mulan, so it might be actually the other road, not this one. Okay, well, check it out. It doesn't worry me that I have to go back. It saves me a bit of sanity. Yep, not going back there. Not a chance. Okay, I will enter. Why do you always unequip your gun? Okay, I see those guys, a lot of them, so... Yeah. What the hell? Why are you out? Okay, he's gone. Where can I find you? Oh, I guess it's there. <laughs> it... No, it's like... But it's a house, open house, open one as well. But, whoa, I'm sorry about that. I really have no idea what's going on. I will have to check the task manager. Hopefully he's alive. 
Mr. Stokes, the price for a separate royal for your mother Martha Stokes is 30 bullets. The more cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for burials than we have resources or manpower to satisfy. You must make the payment in two weeks or we will have to enter your mother in a mass grave. Oh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating yeah. whatever this is. It looks like a mutated rat. Okay. Oh, I... What? What is that? Okay. Is that Miss Martha? Yeah. <laughs> but you took it. Where the? They got the gun. I think I heard another one. Okay, I heard those guys. Go away. Okay. Okay, uh, first of all, heal. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It wasn't as bad as good, I mean. Sure. That's just wind? I hope. Okay. There is no basement, which is fine. Uh, of course, stocks. Damn it, don't do that, please. Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting a shot just to be stabbed. But who did it? We'll find out in a second. Nothing? Don't want to talk about old. Oh! Give me a second, I know I have to look into that. Just wanna look around a little bit first. Stop that. Oh. This thing usually happens when I can. Whenever I can see something. Oh, okay. At long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. What? Something else? The mirror. Park, get away from the Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. What? Help. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She, she, she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She, she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. Sydney Stokes, I presume. Aye, aye, aye that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Ah, uh, okay. 
What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Me like a rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big bro out and she shivved him. Okay, what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Were you hired to kill the Collector, too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to Kay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us, and I, and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. Oh, please, as Kay is my witness, I, I didn't mean to kill anyone. I, I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. Well, you've had quite a night. Break-in, theft, and manslaughter? I'm gonna have to report this. Uh, please! I, I'll, uh, I'll get the char for this! You should have thought of that before you killed a man. Yeah. I can say I'm the kind of forgive. Well. Oh. I mean, if you weren't to steal that mirror, you wouldn't have killed the collector. Okay, there is that. Let's look at the casebook. Yeah, she killed a few squirrels. She said that she would fix what Francis had done. Hmm. Ah, no. Yeah, I will. I think going to Mr. Frogmorton is, is a good idea and it is here. We're creating quite nice map waypoints. I like that. I always want call the city in south but I know it is not just you know always reading about in mouth what happened there so on oh so I'm sorry about that let me see okay let's talk to the guy Whoa, what is happening? To your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is the mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in uh, educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. It wouldn't have killed you to let me know you were going after the mirror from the start. As I said, this is a very delicate matter. I wasn't confident I could trust you with such sensitive information until now. All right, I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. 
I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. And what's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Yes, we're gonna open the door. I've got myself shotgun shells or rifle. One or the other. Open up. Yes. <laughs> Fine look. Uh, curious craftsmanship. This must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp. But I guess that's the point. Oh no you don't. It's an ambitious expedition. Huh? Like father, like son. Just to make a bad joke. Yeah, come on. Whoa. 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. Okay, I think I know what that old woman was talking about. Francis Tugmorton's expedition to Africa has proven to be one of the most ambitious, if sadly unappreciated, undertakings of 1891. He has returned with numerous historical artifacts, invaluable anthropo anthropological research, a newborn son, Christen, Christen Robert and a plethora of fascinating cultural insights. Today, in an exclusive interview with the Oakmont Chronicle, he has agreed to share some of those insights with us. Ooh, something hidden? Hmm. Francis, divorce is no simple matter these days. It never has been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault you shall present to the card court, the most common options being cruelty, adultery or an incurable mental illness. It is my impression that your fistborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakman Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. Regards, Chauncey. Wait, records. We were supposed to go through records. Yet I see none. Okay, so I guess we'll go visit an asylum. Soon, quite soon, I suppose. Who are those ladies? Okay. Expedition. Okay, squid pro quo. Yeah, and I want to do for the looking glass. Come on, cooperate. Yes, asylum. And we kind of know where it is. I want to look at my skills. We have two knowledge points, so let's see. What can you do? Some machine, sub machine gun, Chris. Okay, but do I have to? No. Okay, I have to either look for some new. It's yellow. Okay, we have something. We still have something to find here, so we won't go away just yet. Well, I wanted to. Flash gain chance to do double damage with the revolver. I don't really like it. Okay, I won't. Apply any knowledge points to combat proficiency just yet because we don't have any other any other oh, weapon than pistol and revolver. That's nice. 
Let's see, when I'm close to the floor, you're generally trying to come out of half for one last fighting chains. Right! I forgot about that. Gain more experience, gain even more experience. I <laughs> guess I really like that one. Now, oh, right, right, the last, I hope, is the last clue. Are you certain there's nothing here? Because it really is suspicious that it's so empty. Apparently everything's fine. Okay, maybe there is something else on the first floor. Because... I think we're missing... The archive, well, not archive, the records, his private records. Okay, come back in. No, just wait, there's a picture. Oh. Does he? That okay, that's still something left. Okay, it won't show me if anything is far away. I have a bad thing that this is. Robert's mother, <laughs> and that why that's why his father. Curious craftsmanship. This must be worth a yeah. fortune. That's why the woman has grudge. It's an ambitious expedition huh? against oh, Robert's it's father. It's Francis. Hmm. Okay, let's take it slowly. Yeah, maybe I'm using it wrong, but... I really am hoping to find something else while using the... I don't know how to call it, detective vision or something. Maybe we can go talk to... Oh, okay. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But, even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Have a good day. Captain, oh, it... Okay, was the last piece of evidence we needed. And now we will go... Oh, it's here. Damn it. Mm. Yeah. That's the one. Oh, and I have to go to the other side of the mansion. No, those are the cigarettes. Where is the... I nearly got lost again. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look at my. I really am holding the analog stick straight forward. Man. I. Ah! No, I just want to see what. 
kind of creature moves those bo boys? Boys, I I don't really know. Say, I I'm, I'm unable to say it properly. Okay, here. Really? Oh yeah, really. Okay. Okay, let's find that booth. Where are you? Where are you, booth? Okay, it's unlocked. Let's go straight for the asylum. Oh, oh no, I have to get on the other side of the fence first. That was so hard. <laughs> and the way inside is through here. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that if any of the patients would, were to escape, <laughs> they wouldn't make, this fence wouldn't really help to contain, contain them in. Or maybe it's like that on purpose. They don't feel caged. We'd know if we had a Throgmorton. Although, we do have a Bethany. Or rather, we did. Sh she's missing. And not on one of her usual walks. Her usual walks? You let patients leave the building? Oh, Bethany was harmless. And she always came back. This time, well, I've never known her to be like that. Any idea where she went? No. She had been odd recently, though, uh, muttering to herself, and she drew this strange picture on her bedroom wall. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. She had a separate room downstairs. Here's the key, but do watch out for broken glass. Bye. Wait, broken glass. Hmm. Ooh. Show me that. On the mountains of truth you can never climb in vain. On the mountains of madness you can never climb in vain. Yeah. Okay, we're on the right track. Oh, Some bottles. Hypodermic tables. Dope left in here to knock out a horse. Hmm. Well, it wasn't enough to kick her out, apparently. Maybe she did that before. Wait, what? Why would you take that? Ooh. Okay. Can I get up? Sorry. You were just. Haven't you seen the beast? Kinda, I saw one. With Ayatom, yeah. Okay. Hmm? Oh, I saw something. No. I cannot read that. Oh, and we are back down. Anything you want to tell me? The blood's almost dry. And that's it. Really? Okay, this is fire hazard, so you better take care of that. Oh. Oh. Seven years each? That's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. Yeah. Oh! Was this taken at gunpoint? Someone had a field day defacing these. All I do, I do for my dear Hammond. I can't forget that. 
Shame on me for thinking that a reprobate squint had more common sense than, I, than greed in him. He got the mirror, and I do not care how he did it, but when the time came for the exchange, he wanted more. So much more he had the gall to threaten me. Said he will find a new buyer. What's done is done. None has the right to come between a mother and his child. Young Hammond Throgmorton, Francis Throgmorton's first firstborn, has been pronounced dead, mortally injured in a mysterious accident during a family holiday. Little Hammond could not be revived despite the doctor's best efforts. The funeral will be held later this week, with only family and close friends attending. In this dark and tragic hour, we are trying to remain grateful for all we have, including baby Robert, shared Francis Ford Morton. As my sole remaining heir, I will do all I can to protect him. Okay, that's... Oh, of course I... Okay, oh, it's a painting of the house. Drawing. Baby boy, I promise. Just tell me more. Nope. Where is it? Oh, here. Stop right there. have any power over me. I have found my Hammond. He's shown me the way. Randall Glassman in Salvation Harbor. Oh, I can't believe it. The answers have been there since last century. Time to peace. Okay, this seems pretty straightforward. You know stop right there. Asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. Next stop looks to be a factory called Randall Glassworks. Okay, it's key evidence collected. So now we are hunting for the all evidence. I took the wrong turn. Maybe lady over here can tell us more. Seems that Bethany had a thing for mirrors. You know anything about that? Oh yes. Poor soul. She was convinced there was a boy called Hammond living in her mirrors. She talked to him every day. I see. Bye. Okay, I think you did a pretty poor research. About your patient. Watch your pocket. Some patients here have wandering fingers. Okay. Ooh, I can use records room. Oh, this nice little garden. Don't just stare at my leaves. Okay. Let's play. No, ah, thank you. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Can you hear? Somebody's singing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can you hear it? Nope. My head. I still hear those voices. This book looks as if it could be picked up. Oh. Eventually you'll end up where you are meant to be and will be doing what you are supposed to do. Oh, sorry. I am not what has happened to me. I am what I chose to become. That's creepy. Oh, there's even more. Okay, that that is... That's creepy. I'm sorry if everyone has the fear of... holes. Tryptophobic, I think? It all depends on how we look at things. Okay. 
Oh, it's a light. Okay. You're very good at counting. That's that's good for you. What can I do for you? Apparently, nothing. Okay. That's the other side. I think that's the water plant room. I think that's all. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, I don't think so. So now we'll go back to the fog mortals or not? Yeah, no, to the glass works in Salvation Harbor. But we'll do that later. For now, thank you very much. Bye bye!